Well, it's been a really long time since I've played a RuneScape private server and an even longer time since I've uploaded a video on this channel, but I've gotten the itch to create some content again and I want to do it correctly this time. So with that being said, this will be the first episode of my Iron Man completionist series on Yanil. I'm going to be posting a lot of videos from multiple servers throughout the next few months, but I thought starting here would be a good idea. And one of the things that I just mentioned was that I want to do things correctly this time and put a lot of effort into to my content instead of just pushing out videos as much as possible. And a great example of how I'm going to do that is right on screen with this final potion that I'm making. I am now a maxed account. I know it's a little strange to start off a series by just completely maxing my account and not showing too much progression when doing so, but I feel like it's just really boring to watch somebody level up like hunter or farming on a private server. There's not too much going on. It's pretty basic. It just takes some time to do it. So I wanted to just get that out of the way. That way we can jump into to some of the fun things like filling out the collection log and finishing our first couple of achievements. And speaking of achievements, I actually did get an ultra mystery box for maxing. It's one of the rewards from the achievement table. So I opened it up and got a bulwark, which is not very good. I'm not going to lie. It's a uh, Kind of a waste of a box, but that's okay. I also went ahead and created a max fire cape. I just really like how this looks and there's no reason to not do so because it keeps the same stats as a fire cape and it looks really cool and you get to show off that you're maxed so that's what i went and did first i also do want to showcase my bank a little bit there's not too much in here i just want to give you guys an idea of what we're starting off with basically everything in here was something that i either got through skilling or got because of skilling uh, this is all just here because of my goal to max and this is kind of just the leftovers that are here after doing so But yeah, I pretty much just have some basic starter gear and some food some potions uh, Nothing too crazy really so it's just a really solid starting point point. and of course since I'm doing a completionist series I don't have to just max I have a lot of other things to do as well So I want to start by trying to fill out some collection log items and doing some achievements and I think the first thing I'm going to do is barrows because I don't have great gear so I can't do too many bosses right now. But if I can get some carols or arums then that's definitely going to help. And this is going to be the first barrows run on the account. Do we get lucky? No. Okay here's the second trip. This was much faster because our first time around I forgot my strength potions and I wasn't even using piety so this should be better. Here is the next chest. And we actually got a Varix plate body. That is insane. There's no better first item to get in a collection log than a Varix plate body. I'll tell you that. I did a few more runs and I'm not getting very lucky. I'm not too sure what the rates are on these items. I believe on OSRS it's 1 in 16. So I'm assuming it's maybe a little bit easier on a private server. Once again, I don't know the rates, but I'm not really getting too lucky. I'll update you when I finally get something. Okay, so here's chest number 15. Let's go ahead and open this box. And I get an Amulet of the Damned. That's really interesting. I don't know, once again, I don't know what the rates are, but this is supposed to be one of the harder things to get, I'm pretty sure. So that's actually really nice that we got this early on and we don't have to stress about getting it later. Okay, so just taking a quick break from Barrows, I want to do some achievements and the next one in line is just creating a party at Chambers of Xerix. So let's go ahead and do that. And it wasn't easy, but I finally figured out how to do a party. All you gotta do is click the bottom right icon here with the two green faces, and then you can create a party, finish off your achievement. So went ahead and did that. And not gonna lie, these achievements actually look like they're gonna take quite a bit of time. Even on these easy achievements, it seems like some time is definitely gonna have to be invested. One of the things that I'm really looking forward to later on in this series is the boss shop because there are some pretty good items in here of course i'm gonna have to fill up the collection log and get all of these myself anyways but there are some interesting options here like the ammo mold or the overloads so there's three quests on this server i've already done one which is monkey madness and i want to do the next quest which is basically like that beginner's intro guide to the server so let's go ahead and quickly run through that looks like i have to go kill a hobgoblin at the skilling island let's go kill that bitch <coughs> Okay, I got the sword. I'm going to bring it back to the guy at home. Okay, now he wants me to burn it. Let's go ahead and go burn this. Okay, and that's it. It looks like that's going to be the end of the quest. That's pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> 
Oh, also, this is my range gear. This definitely is not the best starting gear. My melee is much more reliable early on than this range setup, but there's actually something I can do really quickly that will make me at least look a little bit cooler. So let's go ahead and buy an accumulator and go back to Max Island and make that upgrade. And I may still be wearing Dehyde, but now I got a fancy cape to go along with it, so I'm pretty happy with that. Went ahead and tried to do a quick Zora kill just to see how difficult it would be, and it honestly seems pretty easy. This is my first kill. Unfortunately, no loot though. And when I play a lot of these servers, at least in the past, I used to judge a lot of them based on their Zora mechanics. If it was too difficult and too similar to OSRS, then most of the other content on that server would be the same and at that point you might as well just go play runescape for real but on this private server it seems pretty easy i don't have a great setup as you guys saw i don't have any antidotes uh, i'm only using range uh, and my recoils aren't breaking so that's all really nice plus i'm pretty sure it's the exact same phases each time you come here and the melee phase doesn't even stun you it looks like so that's really nice I want to make a quick upgrade so I'm going to go and do the Horror of the Deep quest to get a Book of Law just to have something in my hand while using my crossbow because I kind of feel a little strange not having anything there. So yeah, I went ahead and completed the final quest on the server as of right now and got Horror of the Deep checked off. And now I look a little bit more respectable, you know? Oh my god, okay, I was not expecting this. Um, this is my fourth kill and I've already gotten a drop at Zora. It is a Jarv Swamp, which really sucks. I definitely would have liked to have a blowpipe early on because that would help me so much with getting all these bossing kills. But at least it's a collection log slot. That is a... Uh something i definitely did not expect so yeah i'm gonna end things here it's probably kind of a short video compared to what i plan on doing in the future but i spent a couple days trying to max this account and i think this is a good ending point for the first episode if you enjoyed the video make sure to let me know by leaving a like and if you want to see more videos like this in the future then go ahead and subscribe with notifications turned on that way you get notified every time i upload a video and you never miss out and if you want to play you know for yourself then go ahead and check out the description there should be a link to the discord there there, just click on that and there will be a download section in the discord but with all that being said i guess i'll see you guys in the next video